Welcome to this course on economics for accounting and finance professionals. In this course we are going to learn about basics of economics which are useful for accounting and finance professionals. But why this course is meant for accounting and finance professionals? It is because economics, accounts and finance are three different business subjects and all the three subjects are interdependent. So there is a linkage between all the three different subjects and there is a lot of similarities of course there are differences but there is a lot of interdependence between these three subjects so since there is a lot of interdependence if one should specialize in one subject he should have a basic at least basic level knowledge in the other two subjects hence for accounting and finance professionals I am presenting this course on economics so let us understand what is economics for that let us take this simple example let us say you are given hundred dollar by your parents let us say you are given hundred dollar by your parents and I'll call it as resource available with you and with this hundred dollar you can do whatever you want so how you are going to spend this hundred dollar you can do whatever you want so how you are going to spend this you can use this hundred dollars say for going for cinema for watching a movie or you can go for party or you can give party to your friends or you can go for some outing or you can buy some books or you can go for some restaurant for dinner so in this way you have many possibilities for spending this hundred dollar but now the question is on which of these items on which of these items you will spend your hundred dollar so now this leads to what is known as a dilemma because you have only hundred dollar with you and the options in front of you is five but the constraint is you cannot spend this hundred dollar on all why because if you want to spend your hundred dollar on all it is not possible you may not be you may be able to spend only on one or two of this so if you want to spend on all it is not that hundred dollar you require more than hundred dollar let's say you require two hundred and fifty dollar to spend on all so now this gives you an important message that you have resources but the resource is what is known as limited in nature resource is limited in nature whereas your wants I'll call these as your wants your wants are unlimited here of course we have limited the wants to five only five wants but the wants can be unlimited so you have limited resources whereas wants are unlimited so this gives you an important or this throws the important message that you have to make choices because you have limited resources and unlimited wants so you have to make choices so when you make choices by using your limited resources for unlimited wants all your wants are not fulfilled but only few of your wants are fulfilled so it means many of your wants are not fulfilled so you are making a choice now between fulfilled wants I mean between the wants which can be fulfilled and the wants which cannot be fulfilled so this choice making is also called as economics I mean you are trying to select the best which will give you the maximum satisfaction so you are trying to select the best which will give you maximum satisfaction out of the resources or I would say the limited resources available for you so economics study revolves around this and of course there are certain other dimensions which will be seeing in the subsequent videos let us understand the basic definition of what economics is the definition of economics itself can be divided into four categories because economics has been defined in four different angles we have definition 
of economics based on wealth then we have definition of economics based on welfare then we also have definition of economics based on scarcity then we have what is known as growth oriented definition so each definition were given by a uh, different scholars or different authors let's see one by one number 1 wealth definition this definition is given by a uh, gentleman adam smith so how he had defined economics i'll write here adam smith has defined economics as economics as a science which inquired into the nature and cause of wealth of nations so adam smith said economics is basically a science and it is going to study the reasons for wealth of nations so this gentleman adam smith says that economics is focusing only on wealth So when we say wealth it automatically covers aspects like production distribution consumption so so his definition is focusing more on wealth and focus is more on what caused wealth what causes what causes the change in wealth what causes the change in commodity what causes the change in wealth so his entire focus was on wealth so he never looked at the human side or human side or human part in his definition so this wealth as a mere focus was ruled out so people were not ready to accept his definition that which says economics is focusing only on wealth because it is ignoring the human side which is very important because the welfare of the human is very important then the wealth or study of wealth or change in wealth so this definition is not the exact or accurate definition of economics so we'll see what is the second definition available since adam smith definition focuses only on wealth it was not considered as accurate definition so a second definition has originated and there the focus was on welfare and that definition was given by a gentleman alfred marshall alfred marshall defines economics as a Economics is the study of man in the ordinary business of life. Here the definition focuses more on man whereas the previous definition was focusing more or only on wealth. So here the focus is on man how he earns his income and how he spends his income. I mean the focus is more more on the man and focus is more on the welfare of the man so this definition is said to study the economic side of man because the man will perform many type of activities it can be either social economic or religious so by studying the economic side of the man the economics is also called as or concerned with material welfare of men so every man works to earn why do they want to earn they want to earn because they have to spend why do they want to spend because they have to enjoy the benefits out of spending so there is a cycle you earn you spend you enjoy the benefit again you earn so economics studies this cycle of an ordinary man so by studying the ordinary man the economics is also studying his personal and social activities which are concerned with material welfare of man so in this definition mr marshall has emphasized on definition of material welfare and this is a major shift from the definition given by adam smith